welcome back to my channel and in this session we are going to take up a very important question from late 2020 it is from set associative memory uh, topic and uh, basically you can say that it is also called as address representation tag bits when some of the questions you get to find out the number of tag bits so everything in that form it targets all those topics okay and it is from the uh, set of topics i would say which look difficult but are very simple when you uh, read it once or twice okay so such kind of uh, questions i would uh, advise you all that when you find out when you when you're going through some of your mock test or when you're going when you're attempting gate when you come across such question where it seems typical on your first read i would suggest you all to mark it for the third round remember the rounds that i discussed in the gate strategy if you've not seen that video you can please see that video it is very helpful video it will uh, actually help you to attempt the paper and rounds and which also helps you to increasing the gate score while keeping the decreasing or keeping the uh, negatives count less okay so that is very that has been uh, very helpful for me in gate and so i would advise you all to mark it for the third round where you address where you know that the question so third round where you know that the question is a bit typical and you may or may not be able to solve it so keep it for the third round okay so now uh, also if you uh, if you don't feel the question is that tricky you can keep it for the second round but it's not advisable to attempt it in the first round, round i would say so you can either attempt it in second round or third round but not in the first round because it is nowhere a question where you are uh and where you are able to answer it directly by going through it okay so in the first round just answer the questions which you can just which by reading only you are able to you know find its answer so that those kind of questions are need to be attempted in the first round okay now coming back to this question this one it looks a bit critical okay but it's very simple so we'll just uh, see how we solve this we'll directly dive into the question so the question says over here yeah that a computer system with a word length of 32 bits so the word length is given has a 16 megabytes byte addressable main memory so main memory size is 16 megabytes and another important thing is that it is byte addressable so this is very important okay it really makes a difference when uh, in the question it says it is bit addressable or byte addressable that is very important because it helps you i mean uh, keeping the units uniform for all the measurable quantities that you are using that is the first essential step to avoid the mistakes avoid the calculation mistakes okay so 16 megabyte byte addressable memory and a 64 KB four-way set associative cache memory. So cache memory is 64 kilobytes and it is four-way set associative with a block size of 256 bytes. So block size is given as 256 bytes. Consider the following four physical addresses represented in the hexadecimal notation. So here from X itself, you can see that this is hexadecimal notation. So uh, the examiner has basically given you four addresses and what is he asking from us? So he is saying which one of the following is true. The options, if you just see, analyze them, they are saying that uh, they have basically different pairs of addresses and they are asking that whether the addresses are mapped to different cache sets or same cache sets so that is the important highlight over here so what needs to be done so you need to check basically whether the addresses are in different sets or same sets or same sets so that is the basic crux of this question and you've been given all the details all the details over here of all the details of the addresses so the first thing that should click in your mind is to find out which set i should know i should know which 
I should know the set bits, the bits used to represent the set. Okay, and for that I would be I would be drawing the tag set and tag set and word offset kind of representation which we also call as address representation or the tag bit representation so there are different names of that okay in the books and this entire thing this representation is also uh, of the physical addresses okay so here also they, they have given this physical addresses so once you find out this uh, notation tag set word offset you can easily detect that what are the set bits and the ones which will be having same set bits will obviously be uh, placed in the same set so now let's quickly solve this question then now we know what we need to do and let's directly solve that so first thing again you need to jot down the things which are given in the question so that you know clearly what is given what is required okay so that's my approach always so i what i've done is i've written the word length which was given as 32 bits which is 2 to power 5 then they say that main memory size is 16 megabytes cache memory is 64 kilobytes also it is four way set associative that i've written and block size is 256 bytes now you should also have the idea of how the things are arranged in cache right so you already know that what that cache has different blocks right and blocks are arranged in different sets right so it is some sort of this thing this is if your cache then these are some blocks say b naught b1 b2 b3 then it may happen these two belong to s not set these two belong to s1 set okay and this is an example of what two way set associative because every set is having two blocks so that is what we mean from four way set associative i've already made many videos on a set associative numericals you can please see them in the same computer architecture uh, playlist i'll place that towards the end for the suggestion playlists so for now let's focus on the question okay so uh so first thing what uh, do we need to find we need to find for reaching the sets we first need to go through blocks and then we'll be able to reach the sets right so then we find out what are the how many other number of blocks in this cache so the size of cache is 64 kbs and block size is what 256 bytes so that means how many blocks are there so you, when you divide it you get that there are 2 to power 8 blocks in the cache basically 256 blocks now uh, one thing which is very important is that uh, the number of blocks when you find from this is the next step that you go to right like over here we found that these are the number of blocks let's suppose just imagine the scenario these are four blocks we get that we get to know that there are four blocks in cache then we know if we know let's say it is two-way set associative right two-way set associative then can we find the number of sets yes number of sets will be how much total number of blocks upon two since it is two way set set associative so we get to know that this is two so there are two sets there are two sets indeed so similarly we find the number of sets over here so number of sets equals to total number of blocks over here upon four since it is four way set associative and which comes out to be two to power six so now how many bits how many bits do we need to represent these number of sets so there are two to power six sets so therefore two uh, so therefore six bits to represent these sets okay so now we already have the set bits so next what do we need to find so we already uh, wrote over here that what are the things which are required so we essentially required the tag bits set bits and the word offset bits okay <clears throat> sorry so we already have the set bits over here we required the 
word offset and tag bits. Now, this word offset, this comes from block size. Okay. So, now, what is the block size which is given to us? That is given as 256 bytes and which we also represent it as which we represent as 2 to power 8 so therefore 8 bits will be required to represent the word offset so that is why we wrote 8 over here and 6 bits will be required to represent the set bits number of sets so uh, to represent the number of sets so therefore we wrote 6 over here now then how this 24 that should be a question over here so now just look into the questions what is given over here they've given you the four physical addresses just count the number of hexadecimal digits you have over here non-zero hexadecimal digits you have one one two three four five six six into four since each hexadecimal digit represents what represents a four digit binary so therefore 6 into 4 24 so this is equivalent to 24 bits so therefore this entire thing will be 24 bits out of which 8 bits for word offset 6 for sets then tag bits would be how much 8 plus 6 which is 14 24 minus 14 which is 10 so that is how we have now uh, achieve this physical address representation and we know that middle six bits over here uh, so after leaving the first 10 bits you can say for tag bits the next six bits would represent the set or you can say from the end if you leave the first eight bits from the end then the next six bits in that direction would represent the sets okay so now in this format basically we need to represent the given addresses which are given in the question so that is what i've done over here i wrote the first address which is 0x42 c 8 a4 now i know that this is 8 so the uh, every one hexadecimal bit that represents a four digit binary so therefore the uh, uh, if i just count from here to here i've already reached the eight bits so, 8 bits of this word offset, they are done. So, that means next 6 bits will be uh, the, will be for representing the particular set. But now, these will be 8 bits. So, I have to, somewhere I have to split this C. This hexadecimal representation, I need to convert it into binary and then count my 6 bits. So, that is what I have done over here. When I convert this 8 Actually, there was no need of, but I just converted this 8 to 1000. Now, C is what? A is 1010, B is 1011, and C will be 1100. So, that is the hexa to, uh, that hexa to binary representation. So, this is basically our C, okay, which we had to split. Now, counting over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, these are the six bits which are used to represent the set and the remaining ones on the left they form the tag bit so clearly 4 plus 4 8 plus 1 plus 1 how many 10 so these are the 10 tag bits okay so i when i just write it a bit clearly in this form we get to know that the set bits over here are 00100 so 00 one zero 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 this is the set representation corresponding to a1 now similarly we'll be doing for a2 let me repeat it once again okay last two bits each of the hexadecimal bit represents four binary bits so therefore four plus four will yield us eight binary bits so this becomes the word offset okay now moving on in this direction i need to count six bits this is 4 but then I'll have to split this because this is also representing 4 and I need 2 out of them. Okay. So, I'll split this. When I split 6, what is it? 6 is <clears throat> this. So, when I split this, these 2 I'll take, these I'll leave for the left side. So, that is one, what I've done over here. I've taken these 2 bits. Okay. These form the set bit representation so this is what 
is representing your set over here. So over here, if you just see clearly, sorry. So over here, if you just see clearly, this is what is representing the set over here. So the set representation for this is represented by this identifier. And similarly, when we do for A3 and A4, these are the representations that we get. Okay. So, so I'm just keeping it still over here for you to cross check with your calculations. Okay. And finally, just to present a clearly clear representation, I, what I've done is I've written the set IDs uh, for every word which was given in the question, which we just found by solving the things. So it is very clear to see over here now that this one is same as this one, right? And if I just use some different color, this one is same as this one. So it is very clear that A2 and A3, they belong to one set, okay? Which is different from, which is different from A1 and A4. So we can say that A2 and A3, they are in the same set and A4 and A1 are in the same set. So when you check among the options given above, you have this. Uh, where are the options? A bit long question. Yes. So you have this one which says A2 and A3 are mapped to the same cache set. So this is one of the favorable options that we just found which matches our answer. So this is the final answer for this particular question. So that's all for this particular question. I hope this did help you in some manner. So this one did look tricky in the first attempt. Obviously, it is a long question. It did took me a bit time, but it came with the explanation when you solve it alone. Obviously, it is going to take you around two minutes. Okay, for minimum or one between one to two minutes, it will take you. So therefore, it needs to be done in the second round, not in the first round, as I discussed in the beginning. So first round is for gathering more and more points for the direct questions right which you don't miss out when you are spending more time for the long questions or for the tricky questions so that's all for this particular particular session i'm going to be back with some more important questions important things important topics till then stay tuned keep learning and thank you very, very much for supporting my channel to achieve 10K subscribers. Yes, we've reached 10K subscribers and it's our family of 10K subscribers now. So I request you all to keep supporting my channel with your all necessary comments, positive comments, which keep me motivated and help me to post, you know, such important questions. And also let me know if you'd like me to post on um, a particular, you know, a topic or a particular question you have some doubt you can also email me or just post it as a comment over here and there is also one important thing that i'm going to uh, start nowadays is every by the end of every weekend we are going to have a contest where you all are going to you know practice some more uh, question paper at your end and you're going to let me know about the gate score that you are able to achieve by the end of that paper and it is it is i would really request you all to practice the paper in in rounds as we have discussed in the gate strategy and practice it with the timer okay so that essentially helps you to play a great role for achieving a great gate uh, gate score so do let me know what is the gate score that you are achieving uh when you're practicing the mock test paper in the comment section below if you're the one who has not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it press the bell icon so that it helps me to notify you with my latest videos thank you very much for your support keep learning stay safe thank you